Hey folks, it's Rob, and this is RimWorld, uh, we'll call it Alpha 2, uh, The Fireproof Colony, Part 3. And uh, we'll just set time running again. As you can see, we got Addy doing some research here, which is nice. We have some stored food, that's great. Things are going okay, you know? <clears throat> Oh, and now Allie's doing the research. Our turrets are okay. Now, I'll be expanding further into the mountain as we go here. This, we've just started expanding into the mountain, okay? And, uh, I also want to swap some of my weapons about. Oh, now Brock's doing it, huh? Okay. Everyone's, like, sharing loads. This is cool. Of grenades. How about you go over here and then take one of these pistols? Okay. Eugene. Because I want the grenades left on the rack. This is my plan. Okay, and then I want you to go over here. I want you to drop that pistol onto the thing. Okay. And how you're going to do that? You're going to swap for the T9 and Sentry Launcher. Ah, man, you would leave it just over there. <sighs> Fine. Brock, you're going to need a gun. In fact, go grab that pistol. Eugene, you're released. Okay. Well, at least I got these stupid pistols on the launch pad ready for sale, so that's okay. Oh, and research is finished on carpet making. Excellent. So, um, pneumatic picks so we can get into our mining a bit better. I think that's going to be a thing. I would lay out more sandbags, but metal is a consistent problem for me, and uh, as such, I don't want to be experiencing a shortage of it. Now, let's see here. I think I'll do is switch this to a prisoner cell. Okay. Right. Just because I don't actually need this three layout. But what we're going to do is actually just convert this into a single room. So. Construct. That's it. See, now this can become like some kind of useful room. And we'll slowly turn these into prisoner cells.
nice to see all that working. Good folk, good folk. Okay. Oh, and I should be laying in carpeting. Let's see. Let's make prisoner cells red. So those tiny little ones are going to be red. Okay. Slightly larger ones can be blue. Why not? And the big one? Green. Okay. Doesn't make any difference the color of the carpeting, it's just because I feel like it. What's important is that the rooms are carpeted, which will make them nicer. need a prisoner set up, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, that'll flush out that room and eventually we'll carpet some more areas as well, like the canteen here and <sighs> I didn't need the double st thickness of wall, did I? First off, we set that for prisoner, then we hijack you, and we tell you to go and arrest strapping. Okay? Okay. short on metal, so I'm going to try to deconstruct this bit of wall here just for the purposes of trying to recover some metal. Yeah, you're released, and we'll set strapping in the usual regime.
Okay, that'll assign a bit more construction for it. Okay, that'll assign a bit more construction for it, and that'll allow us to kind of make use of things. Looks like we have a little bit of metal coming back into the stockpile. Okay. Uh, we're going to need more, though, and that means sending out a mining team. Um, right. So let's get that there. And a plant pot, because they always love plant pots. And a standing light, as usual. And we'll save the chair for later. Okay. A lot of our folks are out doing mining. pod. Cool. More metal and food. Can't argue with that. Okay, I'm amused that Brock's taking the, the, the big bed in the filthy half-complete room. <laughs> We're out of meat, which means I should probably set somebody to go and try to hunt that boom rat sitting out there. Uh, Eugene. Probably a bad idea to send Eugene. Eddie. Yes. You're in the army, Eddie. Just go walk over here, okay? Fired the boom rat. Well, there we go. That'll give us more meat for the butcher. So that boom rat can't go plumb loco and kill people locally. So that'll be good. Mm. That's going to be quite a fire. Farming vessel. Mm. Let's see. Should make sure my home region is covering the important things. Really 
care if the rubbish pile catches on fire. Guess maybe that boom rat corpse caught fire and got burnt up. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a shame. Strapping on board. And we got a combat supplier. Okay, so who's my best person for negotiating? Uh, probably the commissar, actually. Kirsty, 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 the commissar. Kirsty, where are you, Kirsty? Sure, our new farmer does their farming best. So, not incompetent with the doctoring either. So we'll put her on that. Okay. Where are you, Kirsty? You working my mine work field down here? Let's see. Where is she? I suppose she could be picking up the st Yeah, there she is. Well, she's heading back to base, so... We're gonna bring her back the stuff, and then we'll send her... Tell her to use the comm unit. For some reason, today my recording's being an absolute pig, so... Okay, Christy, how about you go and open communications for me, huh? Alright, the combat supplier. So, weapons. We will now sell off. Crappy pistol, crappy pistol, and crappy pistol. And... Yeah, the frag grenades. And let's see here. I don't want to buy any of that crap. Eh. A T9 incendiary launcher is not really one I want to buy. I already got two of those. <sighs> uh, pistols, that's what I was selling off. Mm, they'll sell me some metal for cheap. Eh. Just receiving the silver. Good to see the cleaning going on. Getting the rooms all nice and clean. this next room here. Yeah. Hm. There are even clean areas back here I haven't even made use of yet. That's neat.
get some berries and some aloe vera just for some variety there. stage of furnishing it. Let's see, furniture, and our royal bed, and our standing lamp, and our plant pot, some carpeting. There. Okay. stone tiles also from that cut stone. I can like make this little like kind of patio over here. <laughs> the extra colonist room. Which means I can turn that into a prisoner bed. tucked into bed. Let's have a look, check out Ellie's thoughts. Had a social chat. No negative feelings for being in their rooms. Okay. Well, that one's cramped. That one's still too small. Okay. I could maybe move the wall up. Or back. Yeah. Still better than it was. Now oh, the farming vessel left. Don't care. Seems like this is going to be a fairly peaceful episode. Because, um, again, I'm trying to keep these shorter than I had in the efforts of making them more watchable for folk. <laughs> but, uh, well, I guess we've done some expansions. We blew up a boom rat. It blew up. It set fire to the grass. <laughs> some research has happened. 
We did recruit new colonists. Could be worse. How much does it cost for a solar generator? 80? I have 80 exactly. Okay. A dry thunderstorm is picked up, and you'd think that there'd be something like lightning rods, or, uh, you know, a wind turbine would be nice, or a windmill. But, uh, no, those aren't in the game yet, or they're not planned, I don't know. It'd be nice if they're planned. circuit. We got a fire. Play it out, guys. Well, they got right on top of that. That worked very well. they are idling. They can have an extra growing zone. And of course that short blew out all my stored power, so that's just annoying. shutting down. We don't have any electricity. Good night, rooms. Might as well just go to bed, guys, because I'm not going to have electricity until the morning. There we go. Oh, Raiders. Okay. It's about time someone turned up. Let's see here. Molotovs. T9. T9. And a Lee Enfield. Hmm. And that's the, to the north. Okay. Well, power up the main defense to turrets. And that disc... That diff uh, direction. stored metal at all, actually. Which is, uh, kind of weak. I thought I assigned some people to go mine down here. Oh, they already did the mining. Okay. Um. Oh. Dig out a bit more, please. I 
have to make some more stone blocks for me. dark and stormy night. Shortly. <laughs> Spread you guys out just a bit so that you're not like clumped up. of them are dead, dead. 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 Okay. You're released. Addy, you're released. Uh, 
second Lee Enfield will be very nice. Hmm. Okay, let's check him out. Good with mining, good with construction. Won't do any intellectual crafting, but uh, on the whole, could be worse. Right. He was such a terrible shot, we managed to recover him. And hey, the fight or fight ended just after, uh, just before. <laughs> We ran out of power, so that's good. your shooting? You're two. Brock, how's your shooting? You're at zero. Strapping, how's your shooting? You're an eight. Well, okay. Keep you in mind. Allie, shooting four. But you only have one of those stupid pistols, so how about I have you come over here stupid pistol. I want you to go get that Lee Enfield. Okay. I know you're only a shooting four, but with a long-range weapon you can stay in back and you'll get better. off the pad either because they can be sold. So injured male boom rat. Okay. Yeah, just dump the pistol here on the pad. Thank you. It's not getting cleaned because it's not part of the home. I see. Turner. Mm. 
So yeah, this room needs to be bigger. I'm going in our room for when Turner manages to be recruited. That's a lot of raiders. Pistol. Lee Enfield. Pistol. 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 Pistol and pistol. Okay. Not a huge threat that way, but certainly enough trouble. Trader. Yeah, that's the assault beginning. Okay. Turret's power on. Okay, and 
sure this is in the home region as well. Okay. Now, where are they coming from? Looks like they are splitting up to do either side. Okay. Well, that's fine. That means I'll run into all my turrets. Our industrial trader. guns did repel them rather quickly. And the raiders are fleeing. They've had enough. I don't... Oh, we got one alive. Okay. Eugene, go out with your axe and uh, capture that one, okay? She's still alive, too, actually. Okay, I think we're ready to rock. set up. Should shut down the turrets. I'm sure was kind of them to attack during the day, though. I guess some of them are going to burn alive. Oh well. Mm. Well, burn dead anyway. All crispy. Another mysterious blight has destroyed my crops. Lovely. Fortunately, we have plenty out sitting around that we have not eaten. And I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Um, yeah. Yeah, we still have some graves. Good. I'm going to have to dig more. <laughs> um, anyhow. <clears throat> thank you for watching part three of Fireproof. As yet, the colony hasn't burnt down. Yay! So... Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.